I'm Dr Benita Kane. I'm a consultant respiratory physician with a special interest in long COVID and ME. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through how to do a NASA lean test. So this is a test we do to look for conditions like POTS or dysautonomia. It can be done in your GP practice if you're a healthcare professional, or it can be done at home if you are a patient. Now it's useful to have at least one other person, preferably two, to help you do the test. So one can be measuring the blood pressure and the observations, the other can be observing and writing, but you can do this just with one person uh, if you get organized. Now, if your doctor has asked you to do this test at home, they may make recommendations on whether you should take your medication or stop it. You will need to make a note of what time you've taken your medication, what dose, and how that relates to what time you're doing the test. So first I'm going to talk you through the equipment you need and how to prepare for the test. The space that you're in is quite important. You will need somewhere to lie down like a couch or a bed. You will need a space where the patient can lean against a wall and you will also need some equipment. So the first thing you'll need is a blood pressure cuff. Now ideally you want one that can also measure heart rate. These can be picked up in most pharmacies or you can buy them online. They cost about 20 pounds. If you haven't got a cuff that measures heart rate, you can use a pulse oximeter, but please be mindful that when you're standing and leaning against the wall and perhaps heart rate starts to go up, these can become a little bit temperamental. So, but there is an option to use either. You'll also need a template to record the results. Now we have one on our website, which can be uh, accessed through the resources tab, a pen to write down the results and some means of recording the time. I usually use a phone. I'm now going to talk you through how to do the actual Nasaline test and first you will need some baseline readings. I've got the lovely Julie Taylor with me today who's going to help me and I'm going to ask her to remove her shoes and lie down on the couch. So just lie down for me Julie, thank you. I'm just going to pop this cuff around your arm, just pop that on there, is it feeling nice and comfy? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to take a couple of baseline readings. Make sure your patient is lying down comfortably. They need to be lying down for at least 10 minutes or so before you take the first blood pressure reading, just to allow the heart rate and blood pressure to settle. You're then going to take two readings a couple of minutes apart. Now the readings should be quite similar and if they're not, there's a big discrepancy. Continue taking a few more readings, a few minutes apart until you get two that are quite consistent. Using your template, write down the two blood pressure readings when the patient is lying down and also the pulse rate. Make a note of any symptoms that they may report. Right, so if you could just sit up nice and gently, swing your legs around, feet on the floor, make sure you're nice and feeling nice and secure, okay? Yep. No dizziness? No. No, okay, stand for me. You okay? Yeah. All right, so let's just wander over to the wall and then just want you to stand feet six to eight inches away from the wall and just lean gently so just the bottom of your shoulder blades is touching the wall. I'm just gonna go and start my timer. Look for any clinical signs such as blood pooling, so that might present like the hands going purple or the feet going purple or mottled or the patient may complain of heaviness in their hands and feet which is in a sort of a glove and stocking distribution. Um, any concerns at all of course stop the test straight away. Set a timer for 10 minutes as soon as your patient is leaning comfortably against the wall. 
Instruct the patient not to shift, move, talk or chat, except to report symptoms of discomfort. Take blood pressure readings every two minutes for 10 minutes and record the results. Both the blood pressure and the pulse rate should be recorded and make a note of any symptoms. Observe the patient for lightheadedness or signs of feeling faint. Stop the test and have the patient lie down if they're feeling faint. Observe the skin and the hands and feet for changes in colour and temperature. Document this on the chart. Feeling okay? Yeah. Any symptoms at all? No, not really. Okay. So we're nearly finished, just last one to do now. So you're doing really well. Just stay nice and still, nice and calm. Try and relax your arm. Just going to have a little look at your hands and feet. Okay, just looking for signs of blood pooling here. So sometimes the hands go red, they can go purple and blotchy and the same on the feet as well. We can start to see possibly a little bit of mottling there in the legs. I'm not gonna cover how to interpret the test results today, but it's really important that you share the results with your doctor and they will interpret the results in the context of your medical history. So hopefully that's been a helpful guide in how to do an acetylene test either at home or in your clinic if you're a clinician. We will post the link to the template in the notes underneath the video and if you have found this helpful please do like and subscribe to the channel and share amongst anyone else you think uh, would benefit from seeing this. Thank you.